Let us learn another problem from electrostatics. Here there is a uniform uh, shell of radius R, which contains a charge Q which is distributed over the surface on the surface of the shell. Let us read the question. A thin conducting spherical shell of radius R has a charge Q which is uniformly distributed on its surface. That's what we have seen. Now, the correct plot for electrostatic potential due to this spherical shell is there are four graphs are given. Now we have to find which graph out of these four is correct. So the solution. So let us go with the subject. The distance is taken in the x-axis, the potential is taken in the y-axis. Let us learn the relation between the electric field and potential that is given by the formula E equals minus dV by dx. The negative potential gradient at a point gives the electric field strength at that point. So let us go with dV equal to minus E dx to find what is the what is the electrical field intensity inside the shell. Right, we are using Gauss law. So phi E equal to integration E vector dot dA vector that is equal to Q enclosed by epsilon naught. Within this shell, within the shell, the charge, the enclosed charge equals zero. So the dA cannot be zero. So the electric field inside the shell becomes zero. So when the electric field becomes zero, the right hand side minus E dx becomes zero, thereby the dV becomes zero. What is the meaning of dV? The change in potential is zero. That means there is no change in potential. So we can say that V is constant within the shell. That is up to small r equals capital R. So let us look at the graph. Up to capital R, we have the potential remains same. So let us go for the next part. The uniformly distributed charged spherical shell behaves as a point charge. So we have a formula for it. V equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. Right. Let us rearrange this. V equals K times 1 by R. Because in this problem, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and Q remains constant. So V equals K times 1 by R. So this is the equation of a hyperbola. So we look at the graph. We get a hyperbola in our graph. So out of these four, the option B is the right plot for electrostatic potential due to, due to this spherical shell. Learn problems, learn physics, like, comment, share, subscribe my channel. Thank you.